as Avery. Oh God. This is our love. I'm our love. I am her husband. Yeah. You can see. We're married. I am husband to the but, girl oh that you God. know so well. We are doing a video <laughs> on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Yes. A girl that was recently released from prison after eight years of her 10 year sentence. Like yesterday. Um, uh, I think it was like two days ago. Two days ago. Thursday. I don't Thursday. know. Whenever that is. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of online talk about it. You see it all over TikTok and Instagram. A lot of people very much in support of her. So we, we kind of wanted to recap it for you guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe give a little summary of everything that happened. She murdered her mom back in 2015. Uh, there's a lot of talk about it online, on TikTok, on Instagram, all that type of stuff. Yeah, a lot of people like are hardcore in support of her. They're like, yeah. oh yeah, she's free. Oh my gosh. So vehemently <sighs> defending her. The fuck is that word? <laughs> <laughs> They're defending her heavily online. Yeah, a lot of people definitely are. online. Um, there's obviously always two sides to every debate. We are very much in the belief that it's like a very gray area. So we just kind of wanted to just talk about it. Yeah. yeah. So Gypsy Rose and Dee Dee, mother Dee Dee, Gypsy Rose, daughter. Dee Dee had Mauchison Munchausen syndrome by proxy. by proxy. Essentially where you fake an illness, usually to get attention. The by, po the by proxy part of the disease, and I'm by proxy, is where she's projecting it onto her daughter. From a very early age, Dee Dee basically lied to Gypsy that she had all these diseases. As she grew, Dee Dee's list of her daughter's medical issues seemed to never end. She claimed that Gypsy had epilepsy, muscular dystrophy, leukemia, cancer, asthma, eye problems, hearing problems, and chromosomal defects, she which she didn't her, fucking have. She just lied about her age. So she told Gypsy that she was way younger than what she she actually was, she actually was. And she which had, was believable because Gypsy yeah. herself does look and young. she has such a high-pitched voice I don't know if any of you guys have seen the show the act I've watched it twice already I really really like it I think Joey King did a really good job at depicting how Gypsy Rose actually acted in interviews Gypsy Rose has a very high-pitched innocent very kids like sounding voice didn't she make her shave her head too yeah I she yeah she, she made her shave head. her head because yeah and that, that's yeah. See in the interviews and you compare like Joey King I just think that she did a really good job um when I was little I could walk you could well that's what my mom said um, and that my dad made fun of the way I walked or something I don't, I don't really think he liked having a kid who was crippled but I don't remember that I was too little This proves that happy endings are not just in fairy tales, they're real. But with that being said, the act is a show drama. I think it captured the essence of what it was, but obviously they're going to sprinkle in a little bit and of dramatize like... dramatize it. Yeah, yeah. they're going to sprinkle I mean, because at the end of the day, it is a show. From early on in, in uh, Gypsy Rose's life, Dee Dee projected all those symptoms onto her. Yeah. Uh, she would take advantage of that by, you know, taking the free, like, you know, like the Make-A-Wish stuff, uh, going on talk money, shows money. and getting money from yeah. stuff like that. They even gave her a house. They gave her a house. A, a lot pink of, house. A lot of donations. Yeah, and then she even met, we just recently watched, um, what the fuck was it called, Lord of the Rings. She met Sam and Frito, Frodo, the fuck his name. It's just crazy, and I know she met even more celebrities. Sympathetic gestures, I guess. Yeah, that was basically their public life. Behind mm -hmm. the scenes, Edie was very abusive towards Gypsy. Yeah. Um, anytime that Gypsy spoke out. Basically what, do anything against do her anything mom, Do anything against yeah. her mom, went against her, then she would retaliate, verbally abusing her, emotionally abusing her, you know, all the, the laundry list of all that types of stuff. Did you receive any other physical abuse as a result of running away other than what you already told the jury? Yes. What other abuse? Hitting, punching, starvation. And another thing that she would do in interviews, Dee Dee would, if Gypsy would say something that Dee Dee didn't really like, she would grab her hand and like squeeze it to tell her basically like shut the fuck up. Gypsy figured out that yeah. she was not that she didn't have all these diseases. Yeah. And when did you figure out that you weren't actually sick? I started to piece things together when I was about 19 years old. Yeah. Like, what happened in the hospital? Well, they didn't know what happened. 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 Well, they didn't know what happened.
Yeah. Anytime she tried to escape or get away from her mother, uh, her mom would retaliate. I believe there was one time where she like, tied her down to the bed. And all yeah, that in the show, there was this one scene where she went to a convention and she was dressed up. She wanted to dress up as someone more her age. I think she knew in her heart of heart that she was a little bit older, but her mom saw her and she was like, no, you're going to dress up in this princess outfit. Anyway, so she went to this convention and she met Wolverine. In the show, it depicted that they had this like texting and like it went on for months, but in reality, that didn't happen. They met and then she tried tried to get a hotel and run away with him and then that's when Dee Dee tied her up and that's yeah. when that whole thing like happened so that was one thing in the show that they didn't get right but again I think it was drama purposes eventually on a Christian dating website she meets a man named, named Nick, Nick I don't good god something anyways Nick something they start talking um, BDSM the act they also sexting you know stuff got like that, right. that. Mm -hmm. um, somehow plan is formulated to because she tells Nick Right? Was, about all the abuse, about all the abuse, yeah. everything that's going on. Plan is formulated. It's up in the air, and it's up to anyone's interpretation as to who planned it. A gypsy says and, it was him, the one that the you know the one that really wanted to do it. Obviously, Nick says, says it was her. her. Plan to kill her mom, which they carried out. Well, Nick, well, Nick, did. Nick carried it out. Well, all of three of them were in the home. Where it also gets a little bit controversial. Nick claims that they had consensual sex in the house after murdering her mother, Dee Dee. Gypsy claims that she was raped by Nick because she. Said that he wanted to rape her yeah. mom, that Nick wanted to rape Dee Dee and then kill her. That's when she said, No, I want you to kill her, but instead of raping her, you could just rape me. That happens. Uh, they would run away. There's also like CCTV footages yeah. of them, you know. Very obvious that it was them that did it. Yeah. Right? So then they find them a few days later, they get arrested, they go on trial. We're going to go over the whole intricacies of the yeah, trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gypsy gets 10 years, Nick gets life in prison. Here we are back to prison day where Gypsy is got out earlier released early from prison yeah which is where we were talking about in the beginning like the TikTok stuff see it all over the internet people are very much yeah praising her Gypsy, yeah saying they want to meet her you know all this stuff yeah well, let's talk about I think our opinions <laughs> I think I can I can definitely sympathize with her and her situation yeah um, for sure at the same time it also rubs me the wrong way to be propping up somebody that, that did something like that, that did something like that especially when the details are so muddy to me you can choose what you want to believe I personally, the weird thing for me is like killing somebody and then having sex in the house. But I don't know. Maybe she she could have very well been raped. Um, obviously, the yeah. courts, I believe. I don't know what they ruled on that in terms of if he raped her, if they even brought that up. If right. that was even a part of the trial, I have no I idea. I have no idea either, yeah. Uh, so it's up to everyone's interpretation of the case. Nobody was there only them to know. So I think that's the biggest thing that sits weird with me, that whole after effects. And the way that it was held, handled by them afterwards. If you're going to murder her in self-defense, Fence and they feel like really that's your last resort then I feel like you should also report it to the authorities afterwards you know like call the police after even yeah if you're scared to do it while she's alive then you know if you really feel like this is what you need to do and maybe you call the cops after she's dead and explain everything this is the only way you felt like you can get it yeah if they had consensual sex and then going on the run I mean maybe she felt like she didn't have anybody else and that's, yeah that, and if that's the case then that's, that's why it's so hard to give an opinion on it yeah so I have very like mixed opinions on one hand and I think like although she seems very innocent like again all the interviews she seems like a very lovely person I'm not saying that she's not I don't think that she's like a harm to society or anything like that but that doesn't take away the fact that Nick is autistic right and I think she manipulated him in my opinion I think she knew maybe she felt like she didn't have an out and she needed someone to basically carry out her plan and she was a puppet master but even then you should still have a little bit of guilt being like oh I'm fucking over this guy and I'm making him do all of my dirty work. Well, then I would guess she probably also doesn't want all of the internet attention that she's getting. I mean, if that was me, I would want to just get out of prison and... Yeah, I think that's what she wants. I think she just wants, like, a no. chill life. But I did see something on Instagram where she wanted to work with Kim Kardashian to change the justice system. <laughs> So I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe she will be like a public figure and she will try to fight the justice system. I don't know. But in my opinion, I think Gypsy had a really hard life. Like it's really fucked up what her mom did to her. I just wish that they, that she found another way out instead of doing what she did. Like I wish she would have told somebody, but I guess it's hard because your whole life, this is all you've ever known is just you, your mom, and you, you love her. But at the same time, it's like, but if you loved her, then why did you, you know, it's like the whole situation is really fucked up. 
up. I just think that like two wrongs don't make a right. I just think it's just this whole shit show of things. I don't think that we should be like, oh my god, Gypsy's this legend type of person because at the end of the day, she did do something that wasn't right. But I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's just such a gray area. Like you said, it's just hard. We will see based on how she reacts to all of this public attention capitalize on profit off of but even if she does capitalize or profit off of maybe she's trying to help yeah. people not go through the same thing that she was going through yeah and i guess that it's all just going to depend on the on, on how it plays out I think that it's like we said it's a morally gray area yeah and it's it's very hard to give a hard opinion one way or the other when we really don't know i definitely recommend watching um the documentary the act on Hulu. Nope, that is the show. Uh, Mommy Gosh. Dearest or something like that. Again, it's just a whole shit show, to be honest with you. TikTok is going crazy. I just want to see if it's going to like, keep going like this. Is she going to capitalize on that? Or is it just going to kind of die off and she's just kind of, I just want peace and I just want to live my life type of thing. Also, she got married. That's crazy to me. Like, that's insane. Those are thoughts. Those are thoughts. Let us know if you liked it. Please not. <laughs> what do you think? I'd love to talk to you about it in the comments. Oh if you have a question for me, I can respond through her. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Those are our thoughts. And let us know. Peace and love. In the comments below. In the comments below. Bye. <laughs> Bye.